So today I thought it would be fun not just to do a plain old grocery haul, but to share with you what I got for groceries this week and what I made for dinner. So I've got a grocery haul, three dinners, and two awesome desserts to share with you today. Let's jump right in. I'm just popping in here quick to let you know about today's video sponsor, who is Warby Parker. I'm wearing their glasses today as I do almost every day. That is one of the most common questions I get in the comments on my channel is, Jen, where do you get your glasses? Well, I get them from Warby Parker. They're so awesome and they save you so much time. Let me tell you a little bit more about them. I really enjoy working with Warby Parker here on my channel because I truly do use their service and it is so awesome. They offer everything you need for happier eyes. They have eyeglasses, sunglasses, contact lenses, and eye exams. And you can also shop with them either online or in stores. Their glasses also start at just $95 including prescription lenses. And if you've ever gone to an eyewear store and bought glasses, you know that they're a lot more expensive than that. That's another reason why I love them because you can save a ton of money. You guys can try their free home try on program, order five pairs of glasses to try for free at home. And there's no obligation to buy. They also ship free and they include a prepaid return shipping label. So it makes it super easy to mail them back. They also carry a wide variety of contact lens brands. And if you're buying more than one pair of glasses, you can add a pair and save. You can get 15% off when you purchase two or more pairs of either prescription eyeglasses or sunglasses. I really like that they also have the Warby Parker app. You can try their virtual home try-on program that allows you to try on eyeglasses. And it really gives you a picture of what they are gonna look like on your face. They also have over 190 retail locations throughout the US. So if you guys want to get your free home try on, you can click the link in the description box below. It's super easy to remember. Also, it's just warbyparker.com slash Jen to get your free home try on. You can try on these glasses at home. You can get your family and friends opinion and send them back and then pick out which one you like the best. Don't forget warbyparker.com slash Jen. So my Walmart order just got here. I want to show you guys what I got. Um, I ended up spending a little over $300. I think it was like $325 or $330. That's with a $20 tip for the delivery driver because I have Walmart Plus. Anyway, the thing I really like about Walmart delivery is that you don't pay more than you would pay in the store. So I think that's really awesome. I know with Instacart, a lot of times they jack up the prices. So I got a pineapple. This isn't quite ripe yet, but I thought I would cut this up for some fruit this week. I got some bananas. We've actually been going through these pretty quickly. So watch this week I bought six and we won't go through them, but <laughs> you never know. I got some jicama. Uh, this is for a salad I'm going to make. I'm gonna try and do a copycat California pizza kitchen barbecue chicken salad. So that should be good. Um, I got some jalapenos. I think I might make chili for dinner tonight. We'll see. And then I grabbed some broccoli florets. I actually made broccoli in the air fryer last week and it was really good. All I did was spray it with avocado oil spray, salt, pepper, and then after it was done cooking, I put some lemon juice and some Parmesan cheese on it. It was super good. So I definitely want to make that again. And then I got some of the everything chopped salad kit. This is really good if you've never tried it before. Typically I'll split this between two lunches and then I'll add some grilled chicken to it. It's, it's really, really good if you've never tried it before. Um, it comes with this everything seasoned ranch dressing. Yum. There's one at Aldi too. I don't know. I can't remember if it's the same brand or not. That's really good. I got some peppers to cut up for salads and snacks. Some of the petite um, baby carrots and these actually say best by the date is past, but I'll wash them up. They'll be fine. Um, I got these for hummus and any other dip that I want to use them with. Some shredded lettuce. Connor said he wants crunch wraps, so I'll probably make those, uh, I don't know, maybe tomorrow or sometime this week for dinner. I got some romaine salad. I just decided to get the already bagged kind to save me a little bit of time this week. Some cilantro because I always keep that on hand in the fridge some cherry tomatoes, some regular tomatoes for sandwiches. And then I got a bag of onions because I was all out of those in the pantry. Some red grapes. I've actually been getting gr uh, green grapes, but they were twice the price <laughs> of the red grapes. So I decided to get red ones. That's kind of like the substitutions that I'll talk a little bit about throughout this particular video. Um, I also noticed that if I got a larger 
pack of blueberries. They were just a little bit more expensive than the smaller pack. Obviously they'll last longer, so I got that. Some blackberries, those were on sale, and then two pounds of strawberries. I got one big English cucumber, and then I did get one avocado just in case I want it for a salad this week. I got some zucchini. I think I might saute this up in a pan for a side for myself for lunch, we'll see. Um, some plums, which means that spring is coming, hopefully. <laughs> so I got a couple of those. Two limes, two lemons. I got some lunch meat. I may go to hy V today and pick up some deli meat too, or I may wait till later in the week. Um, but just to kind of hold us over, I got some of the Black Forest ham from Hillshire Farm. This is actually good. I've been having it on um, English muffins for breakfast. And then I also got some turkey. Kira likes that for her school lunches. I got some center cut bacon, some turkey and cheddar Lunchables, and chicken nugget Lunchables for the kids for lunches this week. Um, I was out of yogurt, so I got a bunch of different flavors. Banana cream. I like to have these with um, the Kashi Golin protein cereal and some fruit or some low sugar granola instead of the cereal. Um, sometimes for an afternoon snack or a bedtime snack. I got one of the tiramisu. These are the Danon uh, protein light and fit. They're usually like 80 to 90 calories. They're pretty good. This one is strawberry cheesecake. I got a lime one. This one is caramel apple pie. And then this one is another tiramisu. And then I got two of the light and fit cookies and cream Greek crunch. I grabbed some fresh mozzarella pearls, sharp cheddar cheese, and then some sliced cheddar cheese for sandwiches. Um, I got one package of the Colby and Monterey Jack cheese, snacking cheese for Connor, regular sharp cheddar cheese for Kira, and then I got some of these turkey breakfast sausage patties. These are really good if you've never tried them before. I also like having them for breakfast. Only 110 calories and 10 grams of protein. I got some more eggs. This was an Ibotta rebate. I actually did go on Ibotta, on my Ibotta app and look and see what was on rebate this week. And I tried to pick up some of that stuff just so I could get a little bit more savings. But this is new. It's cinnamon toast crunch creamy spread. I did try a little bit of it. It does taste pretty much like like cinnamon toast crunch. So I'm sure the kids will enjoy this on their uh, waffles or toast. I got some evaporated milk. I like to keep one of these in the pantry because there are a couple recipes that I use it for every once in a while. Some pasta sauce. I like to keep some of that in the pantry as well. And then the Dan and Light and Fit Protein drinks the strawberry banana yogurt. Connor really likes those. Another reason why I kind of wanted to stock up on a little bit more yogurt is because Connor has been having smoothies as his after school snack. And I've been having them too in the afternoons once in a while also. So I always try to put protein yogurt in the smoothie for a little bit of extra protein. Um, I got some more milk. So I got two of the Fairlife 2%, one of the Fairlife chocolate milk some more half and half for coffee. And then I saw these tostada shells. I've never tried this brand before. I like that they're only 50 calories each, so I can use them for a quick lunch. Or also I got the big, you know, burrito style tortillas so we can make the crunch wrap supreme. So I'll probably make those sometime this week. I don't know if I was watching Instagram or what, but this lady was making a salad and she had these salad toppers from Kroger. And I was like, I've never had those before, but I've seen them. And so I got these. They are the McCormick brand, one and a third tablespoons for 30 <laughs> calories. So um, I don't know. I just thought they'd be a fun, different take on croutons. And then when I searched salad topper, I also saw this, which I've never even seen this at Walmart before. It's a Mediterranean style salad topper. It's got almonds, chickpeas, lentils, dried feta. I don't know. That sounds good. So I'll have to show you guys how I use that. I got some sour cream. We're running low on that. Some cottage cheese. I got the 2% AE Dairy. I can't get the good culture at Walmart. I have to go to Hy-Vee to get that. Um, I got some more minced onion. I needed some more of that in my spice cabinet. And then I got some uh, dried beef. I just keep this in the pantry every so often. Adam likes to have the chip beef on toast. Um, I got some more Special K. This one, I believe I've had before. It's pretty good. It's the Special K Vanilla and Almond. And then I got some applesauce pouches for Connor. I normally get the Go-Go Squeeze, but this one was uh, about a dollar cheaper. 
and no one's gonna know the difference. Um, I actually ordered the regular, like plain uh, zero carb tortillas, but they didn't have them, so they substituted the sun-dried tomato basil. I don't know what I'm gonna use them for. I'll try them. I guess I could make little mini pizzas on them, but I've tried the plain ones before, and they're really good. They're only 25 calories per tortilla, which is kind of crazy. It's like, how do they do that? I don't know. It's kind of scary when you think about it. Don't think about it. Just eat less cal. Just eat the less calories and don't question. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, okay, so I got uh, Sara Lee Artisano bread, Sara Lee Honey Wheat bread for sandwiches and whatever this week. And then I also got some of the blueberry English muffins. I was actually looking for the protein English muffins, but my Walmart doesn't have those. So I got these instead. I thought they'd be good with maybe a little bit of cream cheese. I got some of the spinach wraps. Kira likes to have these for her lunches. And then they had uh, Lean Cuisines on Ibotta, like a dollar back for each or a dollar fifty. I don't know. I'll have to let you guys know how much I end up getting back. So I got two of the herb roasted chicken, which <laughs> this one is kind of funny. It's literally only 180 calories for this whole meal. Obviously, I normally have something on the side of it, but that one's pretty good. I don't think I've ever tried the meatloaf one before, but I don't know. We'll see if it's good or not. I'm like the only one that likes meatloaf in my house, so I hardly ever make it. Adam will eat it. It's just not his favorite. Frozen fruit. So I haven't purchased this in a while, but like I said, we've been having more smoothies. So I got one of the mixed fruit, pineapple, strawberries, peaches, and mango, and then one of the berry medley. Um, I got some breakfast sandwiches for Adam. I just have those always on hand in the freezer for him to heat up before he goes to work. Some Capri Sun, and then we've been all out of diet soda, so I got some Diet Dr. Pepper, 7-Up, and the sparkling water tray limeade. Um, I got some honey breast chicken tenders, some popcorn shrimp, both kids like those, some fries, and then we were all out of laundry detergent, so I decided to get Gain this time because it was cheaper than Tide, and it also had an Ibotta rebate. I got some greenies for the dogs. If you guys have a recommendation on where to buy greenies the cheapest, I don't know. I was kind of trying to price it last night on Amazon versus Walmart. I need to look on Chewy. I think they do work really well for our dogs, and in fact, we've been giving them to Murphy for a long time, and every time we take him to the vet, they're like, his teeth are perfect. So I kind of feel like they're a good investment, but they are a little bit pricey. And obviously I have two dogs, so I need two a day. <laughs> so I don't know if Amazon like subscribe and save would be the best place to get them. But if you guys have thoughts on that, let me know. I was also thinking about maybe trying some of the other off brands. Um, I know like Costco has an off brand, which I have tried those before on and off. So let me know about that. And then I also got some of the good and fun triple flavor kebabs so that's everything i got from the store i'm gonna put this stuff away so it's sunday and tonight we are gonna make chili in the instant pot and some cornbread so i've got my instant pot here and i'm gonna go ahead and chop up one onion one jalapeno and then i'm gonna share with you guys the recipe i use for cornbread it's from la creme de la creme.com it's the best homemade cornbread recipe i've ever found i put my onions and my jalapeno in my instant pot with a little bit of olive oil and I've got this on the saute function. So this is my eight quart instant pot. I like to use this one when I make chili just to make sure that I don't <laughs> overfill it. So I thawed out two pounds of ground beef, or defrosted it rather, in the microwave. So I'm just gonna add that. Now, if you like to have more stuff in your chili, you can add a chopped green bell pepper. You can add more onion. Um, I'm gonna add some garlic paste to this. But when I'm making it, especially for my kids, I just like to keep it <laughs> simple. And mainly the reason why I added the jalapeno is just for a little bit of spice. Now, I'm going to add a can of Rotel to this. So I took the seeds out of the jalapeno. But, you know, depending on how spicy you like things, you can obviously adjust that. I've got some of this garlic paste in the fridge. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. Maybe, I don't know, a couple teaspoons. And then salt and pepper. The ground beef is done. I've got a big can of Rotel. I'm gonna go ahead and add that. I normally wouldn't add a big can, but that's all I have <laughs> on hand. And then I have a big can of chili beans. I'm gonna add those. And then I've got some tomato sauce. Okay, and then I like to add water. Some people like 
their chili more like a stew. I mean, I like it thick, but I still like it to be more like soupy. And obviously this will cook down as well. I actually might add, I have some tomato paste. And just to make sure it doesn't, it's not too watery. I'm gonna add about half of this jar of tomato paste. So whenever I make chili, I basically am just using up all the cans of beans and tomatoes that I have <laughs> in my pantry. So feel free to substitute. I've got chili powder here. You always need more chili powder than you think you'll need when you're making a huge batch like this. And salt as well because obviously you're adding unseasoned tomato sauce in there. Okay, and then I like to add a spoonful of sugar. I find that it tames down the acidity a little bit. This isn't gonna taste right yet, but I have to give it a taste just to kind of see. I need some more chili powder. I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on this. And then I just use the um, bean slash chili function. So it cooks it for 30 minutes, high pressure. And then I let it do a little bit of a natural pressure release and then it'll be done. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and make the cornbread. I have three eggs and I'm just gonna go ahead and beat those up and then I'll add one and a quarter cups of milk, a half a cup of melted butter, some oil, and then stir in the dry ingredients. So I'm using half monk fruit sweetener and half regular sugar just because I wanna cut down on the carbs and the calories, but you can use all sugar or whatever you want. Two cups of flour, one cup of cornmeal, and then salt and baking powder. And I've got a baking pan here. I'm gonna use the Baker's Joy spray. This is great for baked goods because it's got flour in it, so it really helps the cornbread not stick to the pan. I always love using this Danish dough whisk when I mix up like muffins or pancake batter or, or cornbread batter, it just works so well. Okay, so I've got my oven set at 350. I'm gonna bake this for about 40 minutes. So once the chili was done cooking, I let the pressure out of the instant pot. It takes quite a while because you've got so much chili in there. The cornbread turned out perfect, so did the chili. I would always just recommend retasting it and seasoning it after it's done in the Instant Pot to see if it needs more salt or maybe some sugar or some more spice. And I had my bowl of chili with a little bit of cheese on top. I also like to put Fritos on my chili. Are you guys team Fritos or team crackers or something else? I always think I love Fritos on my chili. So that is what we had for dinner on this night along with the cornbread. So I got this idea in my head that I wanted to bake some snickerdoodles. I have no idea where it came from, but here we are. I'll link the recipe that I used down below. It turned out so good. So I creamed together some butter and sugar, some eggs and vanilla with my stand mixer. Once the dough was done, I rolled the cookies in a mixture of cinnamon and sugar. I did not flatten out. They do flatten out plenty in the oven. And then when they came out of the oven, this is what they looked like. They are so good. I haven't made snickerdoodles in so long. So if you're like me and you haven't either, highly recommend this recipe. All right, so tonight we're making our crunch wraps or tacos or walking tacos or whatever anybody wants. So I just have my ground beef that I cooked in here. I added a couple cups of water and some of this taco seasoning that I'm apparently never going to run out of. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this down to a simmer and just let it cook for a little bit. This is what you need to make your homemade crunch wraps. So I've got some big flour tortillas. There's several brands that make these. These are the old El Paso, but Mission also makes grande burrito size as well. I've got some shredded lettuce, shredded cheese, some tomatoes that I chopped up, some of the nacho jalapeno paste. This is my favorite nacho cheese sauce and it's pretty low in calories. And then I've got some sour cream. And you can use tortilla chips if you want, but I just got these tostadas shells. They're the old El Paso brand, and then you can just bake them off in the oven to crisp them up. So here's how you put together your crunch wrap. Put a little bit of beef on, some nacho cheese, a tostada, sour cream, lettuce, tomato, and then you gotta put a little bit of cheese on the top so that 
when you seal it up, that part will melt and seal up the tortilla. So then you just fold it in like a dang origami taco. And then you put it face down or like seam side down in the, in the skillet. And then I've just got these over medium heat until they are crisp. Okay, flipped them over. So I know I've shared with you guys these crunch wraps in like pretty much every single West Virginia video that I've posted recently, but we have really been making them that much. The kids love them and I always love a dinner that everyone loves and there's no complaining. I'm gonna make some chocolate chip blondies. It's been a long time since I've made these. So I'm gonna spray a nine by nine pan and then I'm gonna line it with a sling of parchment paper. Great, and that'll make the blondies easier to pop out. To my bowl, I'm gonna add some melted butter. And I'm gonna add some brown sugar. I'm gonna whisk this up. I'll link this recipe down below. It specifically says you don't have to use a mixer for it. I'm gonna add two eggs, some vanilla, give that a whisk. I'm adding two cups of flour, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and one teaspoon of salt. And then one and a half cups of chocolate chips. This is a super thick batter, so I'm just gonna spread it in the pan. I'm gonna pop this in the oven 350 for about 35 minutes. Ooh, look at those. Doesn't that look delightful? I'm gonna let it cool a little bit and then I'm gonna take it out of the pan and let it cool the rest of the way before it before we cut into it. I did have to bake it a little bit longer than the recipe said but it smells delicious tonight for dinner i'm making lasagna with some leftover marinara sauce that i had in the refrigerator so i'm just using a disposable pan to make it easy but i just added some marinara sauce in the bottom and then i'm using the barilla oven ready lasagna noodles so i layered those in there i did have to break them off a little bit so they fit in this little pan and then i mixed up some ricotta mixture so this is just part skim ricotta and an egg, some Parmesan cheese, some cottage cheese. I put Italian seasoning there in there and some pepper. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and cover this with foil and put it into the oven. And then I also made a chicken Alfredo bake. So this is leftover pasta, leftover Alfredo sauce, and then I just shredded up some rotisserie chicken. I'm gonna cover obviously both of these up so they don't dry out. So you can see here that as long as you let the lasagna sit in the pan for about 20 minutes after you take it out of the oven, it will set and it won't run all over your plate. And if you've tried to make lasagna before and you failed, try again. It's one of those dishes that takes a while to perfect. Um, I was going to make a salad, but I don't know. I still might make one for myself, but for everybody else, I just cut up a bunch of fruit and veggies. So we've got strawberries, grapes, blackberries, peppers, cucumbers and tomatoes. If you guys want to see my last weekend prep video where I wasn't all that productive, click right here on the screen and I'll see you over there.